Hey everyone, we're gonna be looking today at this tiny house slash park model right here. This is a part of Cavco. This is here in Pennsylvania. These are actually what you, well, kind of consider with like prototypes are just starting to build these homes. We're getting some of their new like off-frame modular houses, just next level, huge houses. Uh, but also gonna be touring a few of these as well, putting on the channel. I know y'all love these type of homes. This one right here, is super sweet because we've got a really big porch. We've got a hot tub. I mean, I come all the way to Pennsylvania and I tour a house that, and I don't tour a house that's got a hot tub in it. Something's wrong with you. I mean, you fell off somewhere, Chance. No, but uh, yeah, hot tub. I mean, it's, it's one of those portable hot tubs too. So you could take it from here and then if you know, you want to go ahead and put it on in the living. <laughs> Just kidding. You don't want to do that, trust me. I mean, not that I have. All right, let's check out our siding. Very nice. Uh, we've got a plug there. Look at this one. We're gonna be touring it as well. It's just very unique. I've got to get that while I'm here, don't I? We've got the, actually the mini split here. This comes, comes connected on these houses. We've got the metal roof. Some of these tours that I'm touring are quite long. So we're gonna keep this one short to the point. Y'all stick around. I'll try to like, when I'm recording this, I don't have all the information that I really need that y'all would like to have. But by the time this video comes out, I'm gonna have everything gathered. I'll, at the end, we'll talk a lot about it. So y'all stay tuned to the end. But I've toured a lot of homes with porches, tiny homes, you know, park models, cottages, whatever you wanna call it. But the size of this porch is huge compared to some of the others that I've seen. Sometimes a porch, you know, on these houses, you're like, I just soon have more square footage because the porch is so small, it's kind of useless. This right here, you could definitely use this for some stuff. Let's go ahead, head in, check out the sliding doors as we walk in. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe and drop a like if you will. Here we go. Is there a hot tub inside? What is that? <laughs> So this was definitely got the rustic, mountainy. I mean, we got bears on the wall. You know what I'm saying? This is that that, that cabin, that lodge that you got in the mountains. Got a symmetrical outlet there. We've got one on around the corner there. We've got one over here. Got the, there's the mini split. We have actually had two mini splits in this house. Nice ceiling fan. Let me give you a shot of this flooring. Got the gas stove, okay. This is one of those things like, you know, if you have you one of those uh, like cutting boards or you have like a drain rack or whatever you can put across there. Uh oh, we got some wood on fire down here. <laughs> I feel like my jokes get worse as I get older. Let's go ahead and look at a bath. We've got the pocket door that goes into the bathroom right here.
You know, it's something I was thinking about. You just never know what you have until it's gone, you know? Let's take toilet paper, for instance. <laughs> All right, I, I kind of stole that. I kind of stole that. So if y'all don't think that's funny, don't blame that on me, okay? I didn't even come up with that. It's a very cool looking shower. And then we also have us a pocket door into the bedroom. So this is a one bedroom, one bath. Now I've got to open this up. This would be your closet. You've got a you've got a side there, and then you've got one here as well. You got drawers right here. You got a nice countertop space. You got your TV there. You got some windows up top. Another mini split, and you have cabinets over your bed. A lot of places for storage, and a lot of plugs. We've got an outlet there. We got an outlet there. Outlet on the other side. We've got one down here. Hmm. Oh, we also have one right there as well. Your breaker box is positioned in here. What do y'all think about this? I know this isn't like what I typically tour, but I love to sprinkle these in because I know there's a lot of people that actually love these types of homes. They're growing by demand like crazy. I don't know if y'all have seen it in the industry, but like every manufacturer now is building some sort of park model, smaller, what you would call tiny house. Um, and I, I, you know, so I was just like, hey, I've got to tour these things, even though I know I don't do the best at kind of feature benefiting them. Like I said, though, at the end, I'll try to give you some information on this one, kind of what they're doing here with these, and hopefully help you out a lot. Before we get into that, don't forget to discover, explore, and adventure. I know what you thought I was going to say, and I'm going to say that now. Please subscribe, drop a like, and don't forget to share. Thank you. All right, so let's go over some information and uh, give you some stuff that I think will really help you a little bit. I'll have some stuff in the description. Let me go ahead and put that there. We'll have our links and stuff in there if you want to check that out. So this is a part of Penn West Manorwood, the, their park model series that they're really just kicking off. And uh, this home I didn't mention has that LP Smart siding on it. Uh, I believe all three of them. Yeah, I believe all three of them had, had that same siding. This was the one that had... The porch, as you can tell, the other two doesn't have a porch. We toured them. Kind of what I did on those two is I put both of those in one video. Um, so it may be a little bit longer, but they'll be coming soon. They're totally all they're totally different layouts than this. And uh, just really cool to see these houses. And it's amazing because last Tuesday I put one of these, I put it like a smaller, tiny house out and y'all loved it. So I was eager to get one of these out. This home's going to be right at 398 square foot. Um, and then, you know, definitely you could do some customization as far as colors and stuff like that on these homes. Uh, but like I said, they're just really starting to roll these out and they set these up to show their retailers. And thankfully they let me tour them to show them to y'all. So y'all drop a comment. If you have any questions, put that down there. I'll try to answer them the best I can. Uh, let's get into, well, let me tell you the videos come out Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday night. Now I went ahead and decided Thursday. Now I'm going to put out the white modular home right there beside these these houses and it is an off-frame modular home basically uh, that's taken and set up with a crane it is beautiful beautiful y'all the floor plan is amazing it's definitely something to see you'll be coming out thursday night 6 45 central time and then our next video will be saturday uh, let's get into estimated retail pricing. Now, I do have to disclose here for y'all that this is just an idea, just a range for you viewing the house. With these homes being set up at their plant, we don't have freight charges. We don't know what pricing would be to, to deliver something like this or giving it set up depending on the state regulations and the codes that has to be built to in your area and all of those options. But I do want to provide something for you. This is what they provided to me, which I'm very grateful 
thankful for it and give you great ideas to be at the time of recording. And it'll be, here you go. So this video is going to be kind of short, so you know what that means. You got time to squeeze in another tour. How about you do that? Hope every one of you have a wonderful rest of your day. If uh, we did just put a new video on the second channel yesterday, link to the second channel is in the description. It's Kyer's Home World. And then, yeah, next video here will be Thursday night. I hope we can all hang out again. To again. What is it? I hope we can all hang out again together <laughs> very soon.